give you the steel handed stingray, Captain James Howe! I think you'd be hard pressed to find a more iconic pirate than Captain Hook. Before Jack Sparrow stumbled on deck or Luffy ate the gum gum fruit, Captain Hook was terrorizing Neverland and doing his best to kill a flying kid in a pair of tights. And despite how old this character is, he continues to be reimagined and reintroduced in modern media. So what is it about this guy that keeps audiences, well, hooked? Welcome to Making a Monster, the show where we talk about villains, what makes them compelling, interesting, or just plain fun. Let's head toward that second star on the right and talk about Captain James Hook. It's strange to think about, but Hook wasn't always in the story of Peter Pan. When the story was first written, sure there were pirates in it, but Peter was actually the villain, who sacrificed the Lost Boys so he could keep himself young forever. This whole Lost Boys are free thing? Yeah, that's new. Peter used to straight up murder them. Now, as the story was adapted and altered, Peter went from being a hedonistic, gaslighting serial killer to a young symbol of freedom and youth. So, the story needed a villain. Enter Captain Hook, the living embodiment of everything little kids fear about adults. Hook hates children and childish things, to the point where in some stage adaptations, his very first lines to the audience are literally, Oh, grow up. He kills whoever he wants, whenever he wants, and imposes his power over everything. He is the captain, and he will make sure that you know that. He represents the very comfortable position of power that most children see adults as occupying. And he is also my favorite Dustin Hoffman role, bar none. And who can forget that signature hook? A replacement for the hand that Peter cut off and fed to a giant crocodile. And if that wasn't bad enough, the crocodile liked the taste of Hook's hand so much that now he chases the captain around Neverland forever, hoping to eat the rest of him. Luckily for Hook, the croc also swallowed a ticking clock, which warns him every time the crocodile is near, with a signature tick. Now this crocodile is the only thing that Hook fears. The sound of a clock being enough to cause him to panic or sometimes faint. Now let's talk about the symbolism of this. If Peter Pan represents youth and freedom, Captain Hook represents adulthood and control, then the crocodile represents time. This story takes place in Neverland, a place where time stands still. Here, Hook can maintain his power and control forever. It is unless Peter beats him or the croc eats him. He wants to be known as the greatest villain in the world and be remembered for all time. He even sings a song about it sometimes with his crew. Who's the swiniest spine in the world? Captain Hook! Captain Hook! Who's the dirtiest dog in this wonderful world? Captain Hook! Captain Hook! And that is why he's so afraid of being swallowed up by the jaws of time. And it's why he hates kids, because eventually, they'll grow up and take his spot. He's afraid of losing his power, being forgotten, and being replaced. And these are common real-world fears that people have during adulthood. I mean, how many articles have you seen about how millennials are killing blank or doing thing? The kids are doing something wrong! These are representations of a generational paranoia which Captain Hook embodies quite well. And it is the selfish fixation on preserving one's own position of power at the expense of others which truly makes someone a villain in a story about Neverland. Peter was the villain of the original story because he killed the Lost Boys just to keep himself young forever. Hook is the villain of the modern story because he literally wants to kill the generation that will grow up and replace him. And perhaps this is best seen in representations where Hook isn't actually the bad guy. Every time Hook is on the hero's side, it's because he is an agent of change. In the movie Pan, he works alongside Peter in order to depose Blackbeard, who's a tyrannical leader of Neverland. And once upon a time, he learns to move forward with his life as an adult and even helps raise a kid. Ultimately, the lesson of Captain Hook is how we deal with the march of time. As a villain, Hook is obstinate and arguably just as immature as the Lost Boys, throwing tantrums when he doesn't get his way and stubbornly holding on to his position in the world. As a hero, he helps out those around him, seeks out new goals, and moves forward with his life growing as a person. A villain is lost in the jaws of time, while a hero does the most with the time that they have. The Captain Hook! <laughs> and with that, my time is up. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you had fun, and until next time, do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Bye. Yeah.